R-A-T-C-H-E-T. -E you already know it's me. I'm Ratchet. Woo woo. I'm Cade. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Ratchet Cade Gossip Rundown. I want to try and keep it to five minutes, but damn, we got a lot of gossip to get through, so bear with me, honey. Okay. It has been crazy week in the gossip world of celebs, so let's not waste any time and let's get to it. So is it just me or was anyone else thinking that Selena Gomez was starting to do crack? Because she's been posting these cryptic messages on her Instagram and I'm like, girl, what you doing? I haven't seen you in ages. So Selena Gomez has been pretty down low and suspicious lately, posting these cryptic photos on her stories, but it's because she finally has new music. She announced her new song, Lose You To Love Me, which dropped this Wednesday and is of course number one on the top charts right now. And ooh, it's good. It's just the right amount of emotional and hopeful. She said it took her four years to get where she wanted with this new album and it's finally ready to share. We love when she opens up her heart to the world. What a goddess. However, fans are saying it's definitely about Justin Bieber and shading him on how he treated them in their, in their relationship. Hailey Bieber then posted a song on her story called I'll Kill You, which fans are taking as a warning or a diss to Selena. Sounds a little extreme to me, but she gotta keep a man close because we know Selena. Mm -mm -mm. Now, Lady Gaga, that's a name I haven't heard since A Star Is Born came out, but she's making headlines for setting the internet on fire after tweeting, What's Fortnite? Of course, who better to answer the question than the biggest Fortnite YouTuber ever, Ninja? He tried to explain, whereas she responded as, Who are you? He jokingly responded with, Ask Drake, who once played Fortnite with him? And oh damn, that's cold, girl. You need to learn some shit, okay? In some even more Gaga news, crazy I know, right? A fan lifting Gaga on stage fell hard with her in his arms. And fans were unsure if the show was gonna go on. But Gaga made light of the situation, saying that they fell into each other's arms. And she even made him promise that he wouldn't feel sad about it because she was fine. And she can't let anyone be mad at him for the accident because it was an accident. How sweet, Gaga. We love you. Now our girl J-Law, Jennifer Lawrence, has been kind of MIA lately, but apparently it's because she's been away with her man getting married? This past weekend, she tied the knot with Cook Marone, a New York art dealer. Their relationship, their relationship has been super secret, but their party sure wasn't. She hosted it as a, at a huge Rhode Island mansion, and it was the party of the century. I wish I could get a ticket to that. Speaking of random marriages, it's official, out of nowhere, less than a year of dating, Nicki Minaj married Kenneth Petty. Monday night she posted on Instagram showing a video of some wedding merch and a caption ref referencing her new name and their wedding date. Celebs really be trying to hide from us, girl. Why you do this? We gonna find out eventually. Now who likes some Billie Eilish here? Because at the Austin Music Festival, Billie Eilish got her diamond ring stolen. She did a crowd walk and shook hands with fans like the amazing person she is. But when she got back on stage, her ring was gone. She screamed into the microphone, someone stole my microphone. But instead of getting all upset, she came to terms with it and told whoever took it to just take care of it. What a heart that girl has. Billie, we love you. Wee you, wee you, breaking news. Fans actually went on a hunt and found Billie Eilish's lost diamond ring. Now she's got a great fan army. What a squad. Wee you, wee you, Kardashian news, here we come. Would it be a gossip session without the Kardashians? No. So the Kardashians want Kylie and Travis back together. They announced their breakup earlier this month as we know, but their family wants them back together, saying they know he's not perfect, but he's a good father and partner. There's no word yet if they're getting back together, but they've been spending a lot of time together lately. But also Tyga has been spending a lot of time with Kylie lately, and things are getting suspicious. I don't know what's going on. We gotta stay updated for this one. Now, if you haven't heard, our girl Bella Hadid was just named the most beautiful woman in the world based on the golden ratio of beauty, which is an ancient Greek equation that they used to measure physical beauty with, earning her a perfect score of 94.35, the highest we have ever seen. Apparently, she has the most beautiful chin in the world as well with a score of 99.7. Flaunt that chin, honey. And of course, Beyonce came in at number two, Ariana and Taylor Swift at four and five, but people are pissed that Beyonce wasn't number one and that Rihanna wasn't on the list at all. Sorry, I guess they just ain't pretty enough. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm ugly. They're gorgeous. <laughs> now, some sad news. According to Daily Beast, Demi Lovato is the most recent victim of hacking. A group of hackers called the Chuckling Squad, who targets celebrities, posted her nude photos on her own Snapchat account. Of course, Demi fans are supporting her online, calling it an act of violation and invasion of privacy. Demi, we're praying for you. Uh-oh, our girl Miley Cyrus is back in the headlines. 
Is it because she called out her ex-husband Liam on her live stream? Ugh, she wishes it was only that. However, Miley is getting major backlash after telling women in her live stream that they don't have to be gay because there are good men out there. She said that she's always thought she had to be gay because guys were always evil. Fans got really angry because she made it sound like being gay was a choice. She of course combated the backlash with a tweet saying, I was talking shit about sucky guys, but let me be clear, you don't choose your sexuality. You are born as you are. It has always been my priority to protect the LGBTQ community I'm a part of. Now Miley is pansexual and she didn't mean anything by the way people took it, so let's give her a little break this time because her hashtag adorable relationship and her new man is new and fresh and she's just trying to cope with Cody Simpson. So let's give her a break guys, okay, for this time, okay. Speaking of Miley, guys, it's here! Cody Simpson finally released his song about Miley, the one that she teased last time, Golden Thing. It's a romantic ballad with lyrics, Crystal Dream, Cali, Queen, and about them enjoying beaches and sunrises together. Hashtag couple goals. The cover art for it is even a photo of Miley's blonde hair and her pretty necklaces. He said he wrote it for her when she was sick and she persuaded him to actually release it because of how beautiful it was. Thank you, Miley. I cannot stop crying. Where can I get a man like this? Like, no joke. I'll pay you to write a love song about me. Please hit me up. Did I hear Sean Miller? Oh my god, Sean Miller. Okay, they almost gave us a heart attack this week. Breaking Sean Miller news. Cosmopolitan Magazine had an article called Proof Sean and Camilla are broken up. People, of course, were losing it until Camilla posted a screenshot on her story of it writing, Well, when the f were you gonna tell me, Sean Mendez? <sighs> Luckily, Sean and Camilla addressed the rumors saying they're still happily together. Phew, I was sweating there for a minute. Now for some YouTuber news this week, we have quite a bit. You better sit down. We have a lot to discuss, honey. Okay. To begin, David Dobrik was on a show where they have conversations while cutting your hair. Not sure why or how this became a thing, but okay. Anyway, David said he doesn't want to vlog forever, and if he still is in 10 years, something's probably gone wrong. Now, he didn't mean it like that. He just means his dreams are of having his own talk show or late night show like Ellen. I guess I'll be on the lookout for a late night David Dobrik party show then. I'm down. James Charles. Oh, James. Always making headlines. Can't he ever just sit down and quietly do makeup in his mirror? Nope, James just released his mini Morphe palette and fans are pissed. It's the exact same 39 colors as the larger version, just smaller, cheaper, and includes a mirror. I mean, sounds pretty nice to me, but people are upset because it's half the price. People who wasted money on the larger one want their money back and would rather just get the small one if it's the exact same. I mean, girl, I get it. A college budget is almost negative at this point. In James' defense, he said he was just trying to fix the errors of his last palette and didn't want to recreate in a completely new one. People are calling this a lack of creativity and just a waste of time all around. James, you need to stop getting in the headlines. People have been nonstop tweeting about it, saying, I can't believe I paid like $40 for the James Charles palette only for him to get canceled a few months later. Now, a year later, he comes out with the exact same palette, but smaller with a mirror and only for $26. People are making memes, writing tweets, and they are all around pissed. In some more YouTuber news, Shane Dawson's new merch with Jeffree Star sold out in minutes and is being resold on eBay for crazy prices, up to hundreds of dollars. His $80 backpack can be found for almost $500 on eBay. Just looks like a dead pig to me. I don't know what the craze is, but it's going fast. Also, if you haven't heard, the Dolan twins quit YouTube. Not all together, but they have stopped posting weekly videos to focus on their mental health. Instead of weekly, they'll just post when they feel like it or have a good idea. Fans are a little bit upset, but they understand that everyone needs their mental health days. And it's been two weeks now, and we're just hoping they're doing well. In some weekly fast fact news, Wiz Khalifa and Winnie Harlow, no more. They split, and he's already with a new mystery woman. Ooh, details to come. For her 39th birthday, Kim Kardashian got some massive gifts from her husband Kanye and donated a million dollars to her favorite charities that work on prison reform. Kim tweeted, I got amazing gifts from the whole family and Kanye got me the most amazing bags, but he also donated a million dollars to my favorite charities that work so hard on prison reform on my behalf from him and the kids. This makes my heart so happy. She even posted the certificate to prove it. At least she's doing something good with her money and she could be donating it to me though. Earlier this month, Rihanna turned down the Super Bowl halftime show for the way the NFL treated Colin Kaepernick, saying, I just couldn't be a sellout, I couldn't be an enabler. I guess you, you go, Riri. 
Noah Centineo shaved off his head for no reason, but thank the Lord that bleach facial hair is gone. It was disgusting. A Cardi B fan got an enormous tattoo on his arm, and Cardi B offered the fan tickets for life because they got this big tattoo of her face. Worth it? Debatable. Cool tattoo? Definitely some sick ink. There's no word if she actually followed up, but she did post on her social media showing the picture and saying that she would give them free tickets, so... I mean, I wouldn't do it, but... Go you! Now, some follow-up from last week. Remember when we said that Lizzo said that this tweet did not encourage her song well this week on her story she wrote hey y'all as i've shared before in 2017 while working on a demo i saw a meme that resonated with me a meme that made me feel like 100 percent that bitch i sang that line in the demo and later used the line in truth hurts i later learned that a tweet inspired the meme and the creator of the tweet is the person i am sharing my success with not the men period now that's referring to the two brothers who are trying to steal credit for her song but the girl who did tweet this, she is giving credit to. She said, thank you everyone for your support, and she loves us. The woman who initially tweeted that tweet just tweeted, I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm a credited writer for the number one song on Billboard. She then tweeted, I want to publicly thank Lizzo and her entire management team for embracing and reaching out to me. I have received nothing but love from her through our communication, so I truly thank her. Lizzo, thank you for helping out people and giving credit where it's due. We love you. All right, looks like that's a wrap for this week on the Gossip Rundown with Ratchet Cade. This has been the week of October 25th, 2019. Be back next week when we have more boiling tea from all the celebs because the gods don't stop. Now remember, stay ratchet. So if you're boiling like me, you want the boiling hot tea, then tune in. <laughs>